Okay, we're going to talk about the anatomy of knee x-rays and answer the question, what anatomy can you see on AP lateral and sunrise view x-rays of the knee? Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Morton and I'm the noted anatomist. So the standard knee series that we're going to cover today are an AP view, a lateral view, and a sunrise view of the knee joint in x-rays. We're going to start with the knee in an AP view on the right side. So a patient for non-bearing lies on the table and the x-ray goes through, in this case, their right knee or both knees preferably to for simplicity I'm just going to be showing one sometimes it's done with a weight bearing which is the patient standing and they do the same thing to be able to get a better idea of the joint space and so here we have is this AP view of the right knee and there we have this bone which is the femur and then here we have there you can see ghosted out there's the patella and then right there, that is that big bone is the tibia because it looks like a T, kind of. And then here you have the fibula, and I think of that one as fibulateral. It's always as if you are facing nose to nose with the patient, in this case, this x-ray. And I recognize it's not the entire patient, it's just their right knee. But it's an anatomical position as if you're facing the patient and you see this patient's right knee. That's why the fibula is lateral. Um, this little bump right there, that is the adductor tubercle. And the adductor tubercle is part of the adductor magnus muscle, when right there is where the attachment is for the adductor magnus. This structure right there, that is the medial femoral condyle, which is a knuckle, part of the bicondylar joint of the two condyles of the femur. That is the medial one. And if you have a medial condyle, this little bump above it is called the medial femoral epicondyle or medial of a condyle the femur and if you have a medial condyle you have a lateral femoral condyle and together the medial and lateral condyles articulate with the tibia and that makes this the lateral femoral epicondyle prefix epi means upon this notch between the two condyles is called the intercondylar notch of the femur then this space right there, that's the joint space of the femoral tibial joint, or basically your knee joint, that's where the bicondylar joint is. And it looks like dark space, it almost looks like the femur is floating on top of the tibia. But that space is actually filled with articular cartilage from both the femur and the tibia and our two menisca, the lateral medial meniscus. Um, and so the cart uh, hyaline and fibrocartilage do not are not very dense so they appear dark or see-through translucent as those x-rays go through and so what you want things that you're looking for the smooth nature of the condyles of the femur and the plateaus of the tibia as well as the joint space between them um, next is we have this is called the medial tibial plateau which articulates directly with the medial condyle of the femur and the medial tibial plateau is basically the roof of our medial tibial condyle. And then there we have the lateral tibial plateau, which articulates directly with the lateral condyle of the femur, and it forms the roof of our lateral tibial condyle, or lateral condyle of the tibia. That structure right in between is called the intercondylar eminence, and that projection has these spines that come up, these tibial spines, and this is where our ACL and PCL, the cruciate ligaments, are attached. There we have the fibular head, and below the head is always the neck, the fibular neck. And so if we look at this anterior view of the right leg and zoom in and shing, right there, we take a look. There's the head of the fibula, which means the neck is below, and that's where the common fibular, or known as the common peroneal nerve, wraps around the neck. So a fibular neck fracture, can a common injury would be to this nerve. And there between the head of the fibula and the tibia is the proximal tibiofibular joint. So now let's go to the continue with the knee except do a lateral view of the right knee. And so what happens is the leg is externally rotated, the knee is bent, and the x-ray goes through the knee in this fashion. And this is what the picture looks like or the x-ray looks like. And so there we have the femur and there we have the patella and there we have the tibia and there we have the fibula. And 
this structure right there that you see at the very back. This is the favela. So this varies in every x-ray you would see. And it's, you can see it sometimes in an AP. Most likely you'll see it in the lateral if it's there, which is Latin for little bean because it kind of looks like a little bean. And the favela is a sesamoid bone that forms in the um, lateral tendon of the gastric nemius, usually right behind that lateral condyle. And so that's what the fabella is. It's a sesamoid bone, so it varies. Um, this right there is going to be the lateral femoral condyle, which usually seems a little bit smaller. And then there is our medial femoral condyle, which in this lateral usually looks a little bit bigger. And then here, this structure is the intercondylar eminence for our cruciate ligament detachments. And then that bump on the front of the tibia, that's our tibial tuberosity where the inferior patellar tendon attaches or lig patellar ligament attaches, which is really the insertion for the quads. And then there is the head of the fibula and there's the fibular neck. All right, now the sunrise view of the right knee. So there you can see the leg is extended, but what happens is you go shing and you bend it to about 30 degrees and then you shoot the x-ray um, beam through the knee in that fashion and you get a picture that looks like this. And it's called the sunrise view because it kind of looks like a sunrise. Doesn't that kind of look like sunrise other than the sun is much smaller than the patella in this, but the idea is there. Also, this is the mountains right behind our house where we go running. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? It's very nice. This is also why it's called the skyline view because it kind of looks like the skyline. And so there we have the patella and there we have the femur and the parts of the femur or between the two, pardon me, is the femoral patellar joint. Again, looking for smoothness between the bones and um, fracture potentially of the patella and looking for the space, joint space. That part of the femur is called the trochlear groove. Um, trochlear means pulley because that's what's showing there. Okay, And there we have is the lateral trochlear ridge, which is lateral to the trochlea. And it's part of the, um, you see basically part of the edge of the lateral condyle of the femur. And there we have our medial trochlear ridge, which is part of the uh, border of our medial femoral condyle. And that, my friends, is the anatomy of a knee joint, of knee x-rays in a nutshell.